Hey, so what's going on guys? Make sure you drop the views and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to restore all the plastic parts, at least for the grill area, the matte plastic parts, because uh, they are probably already faded with age. So I'm doing it on my Volkswagen Sirocco, which is almost 10 years old. So it's been parked outside. And so they have actually faded to a sort of like greyish color. So there are other companies like Osran and a couple of other smaller manufacturers as well doing something like really black, where you apply the coating on the plastic and it becomes almost brand new. But however, the sad thing is that it doesn't last that long. I mean, if you do a lot of uh, washing, especially if you wash your car every week or twice a week, maybe uh, depends on how dirty the car is, of course. But it actually removes the coating and you do have to reapply it again and again but this solution even though it's more tedious uh, at least to start but uh, it will last for a very long time so i'll be using a samurai spray can so i do have a matte black spray can here so i'll be spraying the grill as well as the fog light covers with this and you'll see the end result it actually looks really really good i've actually done it on the fog M covers already but I'll be giving them a second coat just to make sure it lasts long. So, let's get this video started. Alright guys, so I'll be actually using this plastic spray, which can be used for metal as well. So you must get something that actually works with plastic if you do want it to stick uh, properly. Of course, you do have to use degreaser and degrease off all the gunk and uh, whatever dust on those panels before you spray. That is like a standard thing to do. And then you can just uh, coat them with one or two coats of this paint and it will look very nice so you can see the result right here so this is something i've already sprayed it's not the most perfect job but uh it definitely gets the job done so this is actually like a sample piece which i actually just decided to give it a spray and see how it looks like so you can see the difference this is after spraying this is before spraying you can see very big result and this is the one which i use something like re black and i had to reapply it a couple of times here you can see there is some difference but it's not going to get you this deep black color so that's what we'll be doing today we're going to be restoring the plastic parts at least for the lower front bumper to how it looks like when it came out of the showroom so let's get right into the whole process so a little disclaimer is that this tutorial will be done on the Volkswagen Sirocco as you can see right here so if you do want to do this same process on the Volkswagen Sirocco you're going to be following the steps that I'm going to be doing in a couple of moments so the first things first you do have to remove is the fog light trim so on both sides the same thing you just pull it towards you there's a small little how do I say like a cut out at the bottom right here all you need to do is just grab on it and give it a pull and it should come out all right so you can see as simple as that all right guys so next you're going to want to take this out because this is held in by a standard Philip head screw uh, at least on mine so i'm going to be taking this out this is something for the towing hook i believe so there's a small little screw right underneath here which you do have to take out do not just pull it out because you will like break it you don't want to go breaking this piece because it's pretty hard to find this small little piece right here so you do have to unscrew it and then you will come out very easy as you can see mine is a philip it yeah so it depends i believe that's supposed to be a tox but mine is a philip hit whatever but as long as it comes out then it should be good to go okay so now once that is done apparently i'm not going to be spraying this part here but uh if you don't want to spray you can actually follow my steps on how to remove the signal light in a couple of videos i believe before i'm not going to be doing that but i'm going to be focusing on this panel this small little cover right here for the towing hook all right guys so the next thing you want to use is something like this interior detailer or degreaser uh, this is not degreaser but this is an interior detailer so it works almost the same except this is much easier degreaser you do have to wait for a while for it to eat up all the dirt and stuff but uh i've kept this car pretty clean so i do not need to use degreaser i guess at this stage but i'll be using this Maguire's interior detailer so i'll be spraying all of them down giving them a very nice wipe all right so you can see looks pretty clean let's move on to the other two fork like covers
Okay, so now that these parts are done, uh, I'm going to start spraying them and letting them dry so the sun just came out, which is perfect timing. So, uh, you're not going to be seeing a big difference with this, but uh, I'm going to be showing you a big difference. So, with this small little portion right here, let me get the camera to focus. You can see how the condition looks like as compared to the one which I already sprayed. Not sure whether it's showing on camera, but uh, it's actually a pretty big difference. This looks faded and old. This looks like a brand new piece. So we're gonna make this look exactly like this one. All right, so let's get into the spring. Right guys, so you can see how really nice and glossy it really looks, uh, at least for the first coat. So I'll be doing another one coat or two coats if I do have the time and then I'll get all these pieces installed. You can see really nice, I can't touch them because the paint is still wet, but you can see it's really glossy and nice. So yeah, very simple, very cheap solution to get this looking pretty brand new so I did miss out a little bit here which I'm going to be covering up right now alright guys so this piece right here is more or less dry so I do have to leave it out and dry it a little bit more but uh, so from this you can see a really big difference if you compare with the honeycomb grill right here you can see this is grey and faded but if you look at this look at the colour of the black how deep the black is you can see a very very big difference so I believe uh, this method even though it's slightly more tedious to, to actually get it done i mean the whole process but uh, overall the result is actually really good and this definitely lasts way longer than using something like re black which you have to keep on applying again and again through months like maybe it'll last like for example one to two months or three months maximum and then you have to apply it again and again and those cost a lot more so i believe one bottle costs around 40 to 60 ringgit if you buy the good quality one the branded one like from austrian and stuff like that but uh this spray can cost me like what a couple of bucks and it gets you really nice results for a longer period of time so i believe this is the best budget solution if you are looking to keep your grill looking fresh and like out of the factory so out of the showroom so if you guys like this video if you did like it do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and i'll catch you guys in the next one